Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No Day 3 ended well as the organizers shifted the 400 meters finals from the harsh midday sun of 1 p.m. on the third day to the evening, cool, cool evening in Kingston. But before we get into the details, we notice you've been watching and liking our videos and we want you to be a part of the Sports DTM family. That means if your subscription button is still red, then click that button and welcome to the Sports DTM family. Closing out the finals on the girls side, we have the javelin throw open for girls ages 13 to 19 with Jamora Alves of St. Jago High taking home the 9 points for her team with a throw of 40.30 meters to take home the gold medal. Monifa Edwards of Edwin Allen with a throw of 38.90 meters took home silver while Natalie Albert of St. Catherine High took home the bronze and the 6 points with a throw of 37.14 meters. The girls class 4 long jump saw St. Jago High taking another victory with Alexia Williams with a jump of 5.36 meters with a positive 2.6 meters per second wind. For second, Sashana Johnson of Heidel High with a jump of 5.27 meters and Yashika Sinclair of Edwin Allen High with a jump of 5.23 meters. Alia Foster of Mount Alvernia High over there in Montego Bay took home the 9 points and the gold medal in the class 2 long jump for girls with a jump of 6.03 meters. Jaden Dawkins of St. Jago High took home the silver medal with a, ju with a jump of 5.82 meters and Donelia Lewis of Edwin Allen High took home the bronze medal with a jump of 5.65 meters. And now on to the 400 meters finals for girls. For class 3 we have Sabrina Dockery of Lakovia High winning in a time of 54.76 seconds while Rosalie Gallimore of Homewood Technical and Abriana Wright of the same Homewood Technical came home in second and third place in a time of 55.47 and 55.79 respectively. The class 2 400 meters for girls saw Abigail Campbell of Fern Court High winning in a time of 53.75 seconds while Natasha Fox of Edwin Allen High took home the silver in 54.26 seconds and Alia Baker of Heidel High with third place in a time of 54.44 seconds. The class 1 girls brought fireworks as Dijanae Oakley of Clarendon College took home first place in 51.81 seconds and Onika Makanoff of Heidel High took home second place in 52.38 seconds while Kalia Kelly of Veer Technical took home third place in 53.59 seconds. Strength, power and determination was on display on day 3 on the boys side as 6 finals were completed with the 400 meters classes 1 to 3 taking center stage. In class 1, Gregor Prince of St. Jago ran a personal best of 45.99 to win from Jamaica College's DeAndre Watkin and Manchester's Shamar Palmer. In class 2, Casey had a 1-2 punch as Marcino Rose ran a time of 48.03 seconds to lead home his teammate Taj Marquise White and Enrique Webster of St. Elizabeth. While in class 3, Manchester High's Troydian Fleming ran 50.25 seconds to win the event ahead of Jamaica College's Samuel Crary. In other finals, in the class 1 boys discus, Trevor, Trevor Gonzel of Edwin Allen won with a throw of 61.65 meters ahead of Calabar's Kobe Lawrence and Christopher Young of Edwin Allen. While in the shot put class 2 event, Jamaica College's Zachary 
Campbell won with a throw of 19.13 meters. He led home St. Catherine's Rajay Hemmings and Matthew Blake of Calabar. In the class three high jump, Nico Reed of Kingston College won with a jump of 1.7 meters on count back leading Kijan Williams of Calabar who had the same height and Zachary Merchant of Kingston College who had one point who cleared 1.70 meters. But high drama was to come in the 4x100 meters as the usual suspect advanced in class one being the Kingston College, Jamaica College, St. Elizabeth Technical, uh, Edwin Allen, as well as Camperdown I. However, Calabar led home the way in class two boys ahead of Jamaica College and Kingston College lining up themselves nicely for the final, for Saturday's finals. But there was high drama in the class three event as Kingston College were disqualified after failing to carry around the button properly as Calabar led the way into the finals followed by St. Diego, St. Catherine, Ferncourt High and Jamaica College along with Herbert Martin, Edwin Allen and Excelsior High. There were also interesting runs in the boys 800 meters as J.C. Javon Blake led the way going into the semi-finals with a winning his heat in a time of 1 minute 59.12 seconds. After 16 events on the girls' side, Ole Childhood is in 25th position with 1 point, Belfield High 2 points is in 24th place, Alpha Academy 2.5 points 23rd place, Steertown Academy 4 points and Bustamante on 4 points as well, they are both at 21st. Alphonsus Davis High is at 20th with 5 points, Manchester High 5.5 points, they are in 19th. In 17th place we have Port Antonio High and St. Elizabeth Technical both on 6 points. In 16th place, St. Mary High on 8 points. In 15th, Fern Court on 9 points. Petersfield is in 14th on 10th, 10 points. Clarendon College 13th on 11 points. 12th place is Lacovia High with 12 points. 11th, their technical with 14 points and the top 10. Mount Alvernia High with 15 points. In 9th place, Camperdown High with 19 points. In 8th place, St. Catherine High with 22 points. In 7th or 6th place, there are two teams and six in 6th place. Excelsior with 27th and Immaculate Conception High also on 27th. In 5th place, with 36 points, Woolmers Girls School. In 4th place, Homewood Technical with 57 points. In 3rd place, St. Diego with 82 points. Idel in 2nd, 1 point ahead of 3rd, 83 points Idel. And out in front, the defending champion, Hedwin Allen High School with 120 three points so after the end of day three 14 events scored on the men's side 25 teams registering a point at number 25 is campion college with 0 0.33 points at number 24 is lakovia high with one point belfield high william nib bridgetown high and Spot Valley are all tied at 20 with two points. At number 18, two teams are tied at number 18, Mushet High and Port Antonio High. Both have five points. And at number 16, you have Excelsior High with six points. And number 
15, Cornwall College with 9 points. And at number 14, Ferncoat High with 10 points. And number 13 now, Peterfield High is on 11 points. And at number 11, Magate High is tied with Clarendon College. Both are on 13 points. Now into the top 10. St. Catherine High is at number 10 with 15 points. And number 9, Herbert Morrison Technical with 17.33 points. And at number 8, Manchester High with 18 points. And number 7, Wilmer's Boys with 21 points. And at number 6, St. Elizabeth Technical with 29 points. And at number 5, Edwin Hallen I with 38 points. Into the top 4 now. St. Diego and Calabar are tied with 43 points at number 3. Now, now Jamaica College is second currently with 86.33 points. And with a sizable lead at number 1 is Kingston College with 119 points. And there you have it, Sports DTM fans. Another look in what happened in day three of the Boys and Girls Champs 2022. Join us again tomorrow as we cover day four with some exciting 200 meter semi finals on the Boys and Girls side. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of their friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. And as always, be blessed. <laughs>